for those of you who've come up to me tonight and said, what are our chances of getting something out of Albany this year? All I'm here to say to you is that we have a month to go. It is far too early to give up. And thank you, all of you, uh, for being here tonight. When Wasim told me, what about this tenant organizer and city council member? I said, that sounds great to me. It's very important to keep people organized and to educate them on their rights. And that's the work that I have you know, continue uh, to do ever since then. And through all the struggle, I think it's so important for what the housing here and now is doing on this real rent reform, that every single uh, tenant that we're able to help and buildings that we're able to organize because we have rent laws. And because they live in this rent regulated apartment, they have some protection. I've been singularly impressed by how well housing here and now working with these tenant leaders have enabled tenants to have their own voice. It's remarkable to think what it is that tenants are asking for. All tenants are asking for is to have a healthy, safe environment in which to raise their family and to pay rent that's commensurate with their income. If you stop and think about that, that's not exactly a radical agenda. And yet so many people in our society think it is. And in a society as wealthy as our own, why is it radical to think that working people should have a healthy and safe environment in which to raise their family, that person should pay rent commensurate with their income. And so I am very honored that Housing Here and Now has recognized me this evening, but I really think this evening really is about Housing Here and Now, the tenant leaders, and most especially, again, the tenants, for their passionate conviction, for the hard work that they do to advance the cause of housing justice. There's no issue right now that points out what's wrong with state government, particularly the legislature of this state, than tenant issues. These SOBs in Albany aren't even trying. They're so wrapped up in their internal crap that they're willing to sacrifice what's left of affordable housing in this city in all its forms. Frankly, it's an international disgrace that we haven't built new public housing in this city in over a generation. This neighborhood was once one of the strongest Puerto Rican, Irish, working class neighborhoods of this town. And they drove them out. We gotta recommit. We gotta turn up the pressure. We need to rebuild. We need to rebuild a working class New York. One that says that the people who punch the clocks, drag their ass out of bed every day, play by the rules and obey the law, have a right to live fairly and comfortably in this city at an affordable rate.